Hi, I'm Jerry, and I'm going to show you how to turn this Excel data oh, into an Excel dashboard. Wow! Let's jump into it. If you have data like this, then you more likely have subtotals, you more likely have grand totals, you may even have some averages, and maybe a couple charts. Let's take all of this data and create your dashboard. Let's start by creating a new worksheet by clicking the New Sheet button at the bottom left. Double click the title and rename your new sheet to Dashboard. A helpful way to visualize your dashboard is to create placeholders. You can use shapes to create these placeholders. Click Insert, Shapes, and select a rectangle. Now you can create spaces that will contain information. Select your shape and at the top menu click Shape Format and change your shape fill however you need to and the shape outline. Once you have that desired look, hit Control C to copy and Control V to paste. To duplicate that shape and let us quickly lay out the additional pieces to our dashboard. Now that we have a layout, this is how I'm visualizing my dashboard. I'll insert my logo here at the top corner, my title some data in the middle, and a couple charts. Let's go ahead and plug those items in. Let's quickly enter the logo. Let me remove this title, and we will go to Insert, Picture, from this device, double-click my logo, and there you have it. Now let's quickly do our title. We will call this 2020 Expenses Dashboard and then quickly format it. Now let's link some data. My data are seasonal expenses. So let me quickly change my titles. To create a link to our data, let's go ahead and create another box. Insert, shape, a rectangle, and I will just place it right under my first season for winter. With the box selected, in the function, Enter equals. Now go to your data and select your winter expense grand total and hit enter. And there you have it. With that amount selected, go ahead and quickly format it. I'm going to quickly repeat those exact same steps for my spring, summer, and autumn totals. Now let's create our final links. Let's go back to our data worksheet, select our graphs, 
You can copy them or cut them. I'm going to cut mine. Go back to the dashboard and paste them. Now with a little bit of cleanup, this can be your final dashboard. And as data changes in your worksheet, so shall your dashboard. Thanks for joining me.